fucking stupid. We have a trash can. That's what we're gonna use. Jump! I'm listening for the gurgle gurgle. Mold spores. You run the tanks dry. Wow, this is working. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're washing the boat, but it's not going to be easy because we have so many projects going on at one time, and it's like, you know, you move things from over there to over there, but you really have to wash over there before you wash that, and you can't do this until you do that, but you can't do that until you do that, and you can't do that because you gotta do that. That's my day. And also, I finally got back to the boat for the final time. I was not leaving again and realized that we don't have a bucket. Because the bucket full of the things that I went to buy, the bucket didn't make it. We have a trash can. That's what we're going to use. Some things we're going to use today. Boat soap. Teak cleaner and brightener. So, this comes in a step one and a step two, and then it comes in a combined step one and step two. For this teak deck, I would say we really needed the step one and the step two. I want to wash the Dodger, but I can't wash the Dodger because I've put all the stuff from the foredeck back aft in the cockpit area, so I can't... The deck is all cleaned off, ready to go, it looks good, and it's a beautiful day. Let's go do it. I went in the dock box and... Lo and behold, there was my bucket. coming back with Bentley who's been at the groomer um, he needed uh, to trim his butt hairs after the whole fiasco the other day with his deck diarrhea he's um we, we're calling it the poop deck now cuz yeah that's what it smelled like for a day or two let's do star bright tank cleaning step one we gotta drain the tank so we need to go turn on all the water spigots how long is it gonna take the bilge pump to pump them out I don't know, three and a half gallons a minute. Step two is that we fill up the tank halfway with water and then we pour in the entire bottle. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> the entire bottle and then we fill up the tank the rest of the way. How do we know when the tank is half full? We don't. I'm just going to put a good amount of water in there. And then pour it in. Yeah. And then top it off. The tank's half full. Now we pour, we have an 85 gallon tank. The street's 100. I'm pouring the whole thing in. I'm listening for the gurgle gurgle to so know when it gets close to full.
The next step is to agitate it. Just, just three minutes? Just three minutes and shut it off and let it sit. And then it just sits for like 30 minutes, right? Yes. Okay. Out of this hand pump, it was disgusting, but not out of the main pump. We let it sit for 30 minutes. After it sits for 30 minutes and you've walked the dog, and he's pooped in some place that he shouldn't have pooped and ran you all over the marina looking for bags, then you can open all of the sinks back up and then run it for three minutes. Now. So then you do it again, let it sit for 30 more minutes. Then after that, you run the tanks dry. Did you see a dolphin? Did you see that, Billy? Was that so cool? Maybe they'll come back. So we got our airlock boat air purifier in the mail today, and now we're gonna install it. So first things first, I have to find a power and a negative side of here that looks like a ground there it is turn it off so what I did was find a ground and a power wire that the power wire only had electricity going through it when the air conditioner was turned on that way this thing's not running around the clock all the time and draining our batteries if we're not near the boat and eating up our precious solar <laughs> So on the back of the airlock, there are two magnets. They also send you two more magnets so you can install it right here by slipping the magnets behind and that way it's, it's directly in front of your air handler. So if you're wondering what the airlock does, it has two carbon fiber brush poles and one is positive and one is negative and it splits the ions and it splits them it, it polarizes them so basically one goes out and is positive one goes out and is negative they go all through the ductwork and then they spread out into your boat and it removes um, like you know it smells odors dust mold spores allergens, VOCs, uh, fish smells, blackwater tank smells, all sorts of things like that that you would normally smell on a boat. So why did we want this system for our boat particularly? Um, so this is helpful on any boat, right? But on our boat in particular, we do have a lot of teak and we do have a teak deck and it is the original teak deck. And we know that below that teak deck is moisture, right? And so there can easily be mold in areas like that, and I'm sure in other areas around the boat that we can't see. Uh, this boat is new to us, so we haven't encountered all of the all of the smells and all of the mold to tackle them. So what this is going to do is this is just going to help us fight any funky smells that we have in the boat. Which, to be honest with you, the boat smells what I call normal. It has a smell. Um, but it is not a foul smell in any way. Um, our head doesn't smell that great right now because we've had some trouble in there. But, but we're going to see in about a week if this has started to work on the, the smells in the boat at all. Um, we'll, we'll let you know. In case you haven't guessed, Airlock is this week's sponsor. If you want one for your boat, 
it is recommended that one goes on each AC unit in your boat and you can get one for 10% off if you get on their website which is airlockpurifierusa.com and it'll tell you all about what I just explained but in much greater detail and probably a lot better than I just did it. Use code SIREN10, S-I-R-E-N 10 and get 10% off and yes we get a little kickback from that and you get a little break too. So. It's a win-win, right? What do you think? You got it installed? It's installed. All we gotta do is flip on the air conditioner. All right, let's do it. Oh, no we don't. We gotta go turn on the power it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley just walked across this right as I was about to spread it and then just proceeded to walk everywhere. Just like everywhere. He just took off going all the way across the deck. wash the hull and I don't think that I'm gonna launch the tender to do the other side of it so I might just clean the port side how lazy is that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it On a boat, AC or no AC, these are gold. I've got a tub here, and I've got one of the hanging ones. I've never worked on a yacht that did not use these, and yachts run the AC continuously. But I'm gonna hang these around, or I'm gonna hang this one around, I'm gonna put the tub out. Uh, but yeah, getting, getting back to it, we're going, we're going. So we just got our pump out, now we have to treat our tank. We use Starbright, Insta, fresh holding tank treatment um you it says right here one cup for standard 40 gallons we don't have 40 gallon tank we got a 10 gallon tank so you use one ounce for every five gallons and all you do just put it in the toilet and i used to be a bartender so one ounce two ounce when were you a bartender i wasn't a bartender and then you 
Bullshit. And that's it. that something goes wrong <laughs> because I um, didn't really want to film our process of uh, taking the truck back home because you know the boats on the other side of the state and we've got to get around the state so we had to take the truck back home get a rental car and then drive it back over to where the boat sits so we've gone back home I've done some stuff for work checked on some listings got some new listings up and uh, now I've just dropped Hal off at the airport to pick up the rental car that we're getting. We've got to get out of the marina tomorrow. Tomorrow? All right, well, why don't you tell him? She pulled a Nicaragua. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go back and watch those videos. But to make a long story short, we got about 200 miles away and had no money and had to turn around and come back to get the money. Mm -hmm. Except for in Nicaragua, there was no turning around and coming back. We were no. just there for no money. Yeah. So this is twice she's done it. I think it's awesome. But here's the thing. Now that we have driven three miles out, or three miles, three hours out and three hours back in a rental car that we only have until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, and it's 5.15 in the afternoon. <laughs> and now we are like starting over. <laughs> we still have to get back across the state. Now that we are pulling back into our home region, the road out is miles and miles of cars. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's just a big old elephant. We gotta eat one bite at a time. Hey. Bite one, get the money. I know. But bite we're... two, eat. Bite three, hope all this is cleared up by the time we go to leave. Bite four is go back by my parents. I'm starving. I haven't even eaten. Like we've not eaten and then anything, and it's like after five, and we're not even started. It's like, okay, let's go get some breakfast and start this thing. That's how I'm feeling right now. Waffle house. Oh. Good morning. Literally just woke up. It's 6.30 and we finally got back to the boat last night at 2 something. Now we have to um, get to Publix by 7. We have to do our... Our last provisioning just for all of our water jugs because we can't drink the water on the boat and um, whatever fresh food stuff we want to start with we have to bring it all back here and then we have to take the car the rental car back and be there by eight and then we've got to walk back here <laughs> uh, we've not slept a lot at all and you guys haven't even seen the last few days. It's been crazy, really crazy. I'm exhausted. We gotta be out of this marina. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like we're not ready to leave this dock. I mean, we are, the boat's ready, but it's like, man, there's so many like little things that I wanna do and we've been gone and we were supposed to be back sooner than this. And now it's like, I have to call the marina and see like exactly what time we're supposed to like be out because maybe they'll give us a few hours or something. So that's that. Off to Publix. We have to leave in 45 minutes. Okay, we're having a situation. <laughs> I went to wash the dishes and the water was not coming on. Hal's been piddling with the pump. Now he's thinking that the pump might be burnt out. So this is, something's happening. Hal's on the dock, so I'm gonna update you guys. Um, he doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> I don't blame him. For a minute there, we thought we weren't gonna have water. Do you want to film? No, we get the boat. We weren't gonna have water, and then um, I think that 
the tank was just over filled and it maybe lost prime or something. I don't know, but we, anyway, we got it working. Um, now the engine isn't starting <laughs> and the battery is dead. Starting battery. And I think it is because he didn't flip the switch on the DC to DC thing when we left a couple days ago. Dishes are done. Engine is running. Um, man, we have running water again, so we can shower underway, but we're showering on deck. Not, not everything is stowed. We're really not ready. <laughs> we're totally not ready. We are leaving prematurely, but we've got to get off the dock. Uh, they're going to do construction in this marina, and there's a time we've got to get out, and that's now. So we're leaving. video doing my stupid dance. You know I only act stupid for you. Tube. First night at the first anchorage. Ponce Inlet. And uh, yeah, pretty easy going getting here I think. And uh, yeah, if we could get the motor on the tender running. You did the poor man's carp job, right? I did. It was almost sent. Shock the fuel, if people know what that means. It almost worked. So uh, we got our, our magma grill hooked up and I think we're gonna cook some chicken and just enjoy our night. We are exhausted. We've had a really hectic few weeks, but then the last few days was really the icing on the cake, you guys. So, I'm ready for bed. I was ready for bed when I woke up this morning. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill. Yeah. We're gonna chill. If I can get to that beach way over there in the tender at some point, I would love to just let Bentley just go run. Um, but it looks like we are going to be paddling over there instead. So. Yeah, I'll rebuild the thing when I, when we get to Titusville. Yeah, so. You guys, enjoy your week. We're gonna enjoy our night. Thank you for being here with us. Please uh, check out our socials and our Patreon. Um, you can be on Patreon for free. You don't have to pay. You just don't get as much information, that's all. Um, but there are levels of Patreon if you wanna support us. This is, um, this is not a get rich quick thing here with YouTube. This is definitely um, <laughs> cost a lot of money to do and if you want to support these videos so that we can keep making them, feel free. I think we're gonna we're gonna make some chicken. Alright, let's let me finish putting this grill together. Okay. Good night. Night. One more thing. <laughs> we're in a very precarious anchorage. Let me just say that um, we knew that when we got here, but um, Hal's gonna put out a stern line, which is a really, really good idea. Do you have any last words? Yeah, I'm tied us off to the cleat on the other side. Okay. Do you have a safety tied off at, to the line at least? No. No? no. Why? You look like you've never rode one of those before. This doesn't row work. The stay keeps getting better. The motor to the tender just started and Bentley and I are fully prepped to paddle to shore. We are in the inlet and the tide is like ripping through and I was like, I got this. I've done some, I, this is not my first liveboard situation, you guys, and I've done some very extensive paddling in my life, okay? Um, <laughs> it's just been a really long time. Um, but yeah, we were we were feeling fully confident, and I said that, you know, we could use the rest of that anchor line, like, tie off to it, and, like, I could just go, and that was, like, gonna be a safety, but 
as I started filming, that motor started. Come on, Bentley. Let's go. Oh, Bentley. Listen, we can't just go exploring, man. We gotta poop like somewhere nearby. Yeah, like really nearby. Yeah, like just poop somewhere on this bank, please. Don't worry. I don't even think we have to pick it up. Like, ain't nobody coming here. <laughs>